I'm at the Coco Press booth with Evan. How are you doing, Evan? I'm pretty good. Awesome. So what do we got cooking here? I see we are printing chocolate. Yeah, so um, we've been developing a chocolate printer over the last five years. Um, most recently, it was my senior design project, my capstone project at the University of Pennsylvania, and uh, now I'm working on it full time since uh, May. You got some really cool prints here. Thank you. We have a Benchy. We have um, is that an Einstein there, Einstein. And, and a vase, and everything is you can eat it, right? Yeah, all completely edible. So how does it work? So basically, the um, chocolate all starts tempered in a cartridge. Uh, this one is a half-used cartridge. Um, it goes into the printer. It has a dual heating uh, system to keep it to a tenth of a degree precision uh, in terms of temperature. And then it extrudes the chocolate using air pressure and it solidifies it immediately because the whole thing is actually a mini fridge. So it heats up, it gets extruded essentially, and then solidifies because it's so yeah. cold in there. That is sweet. So what, what made you do this? Uh, I actually started this uh, in an intro to engineering class in high school. Uh, I, at that point, thought I could build anything, and I didn't realize how hard it would be to work with chocolate. So I started working with chocolate, and it's just been kind of a, a passion project on and off for the last five years, and uh, I've been working on it, I guess, seriously for the last year and a half. Um, so is the, is the printer your design, or is it something you kind of modified? No, it's a completely custom printer. Uh, there's a lot of weird tricks to make it work with chocolate and so building it uh, from the scratch from the frame was uh, really helpful to get um, insulation on all of the edges and uh, something like that. So is this something that you're going to open source or sell or anything like that or is it just, just for your project? So uh, we're planning to put together a printer to sell sometime around mid next year. Um, so definitely working towards selling the printers. In the long term, uh, hoping to sell the printers to chocolate shops, bakeries, and caterers for the you know ultra custom chocolate design. So if you can scan your face uh, from your phone in 10 seconds and then print it out or put it on a make wedding cake toppers that are just you know very custom and, and chocolate fully edible, really high quality uh, Belgium chocolate. Um, but the first version of the printer before going for some of the uh, food safety certifications will be a hobbyist uh, for the hobbyist market. So that brings me to another question. So obviously you're giving samples away, right? Yes. So you had to be like certified food safe or whatever. Yep. Um, so the license right over there. there you go. He's the food safety license right over here. So what did you have to go through to do that? Did they think you were crazy? So for that license, I was um, I have everything I'm giving away this weekend prepackaged in a commercial kitchen. So this license wasn't as challenging to make the printer food safe. They. Um, I have to, I'm not, I'm not there yet with this design, but I need there to be no screws at all in the build area, which is the food splash zone. And it all needs to be, you know, like polycarbonate and Delrin food safe materials. And then for the cartridge itself, I'm using uh, single use cartridges and where all the chocolate touches is the uh, medical grade syringe, uh, stainless steel nozzle, and then the parchment paper itself so that the whole thing stays food safe. That's great, that's awesome. Well, that's really cool. I appreciate you taking the time with us. I'm going to enjoy some chocolate. We're going to grab some samples right over here. But, oh, yeah. I'll be back. Yeah. Just joking. But uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time and showing us your chocolate printer. Thank you so much.